What's up? This is Altark here from uh, smartbytrans.com and uh, this is the all new Verity Sense from Polar. This is an optical heart rate sensor that measures your heart rate from your arm or forearm and allows you to pair it to sports watch, a device like the Peloton bike for example, or an app like Zwift or Trainer Road to see your heart rate in real time. The Verity Sense is an update to the previous Polar OH1 Plus optical heart rate sensor and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about four new things oops I'm going to talk about four new things with the Verity Sense and uh, I think I'm going to just call it the Verity from now on. And if you find this video helpful I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Okay, let's start with the design. There isn't much difference with the strap itself. It's made for out of the same material as the OH1 and a couple of new things with the strap. The strap now has the Velcro attachment that allows you to open the strap if you do not want to slide it up and down your arm. Not sure how often you will use it, but it is there if you or when you need it. My only concern with the Velcro strap or the Velcro material is its long-term durability. Usually with sweat and water and all kind of things that can get in there, it can uh, ruin the, strap, the Velcro, but you can always throw it in the washing machine if it gets stinky or dirty from your sweat. The other new thing that you'll notice is a clip that holds the sensor in place. It is wider and made out of hard plastic. It's made that way to prevent it from uh, flipping, which was an issue with the previous OH1 strap. Also, you'll notice a metal ring inside the sensor strap. This is an antenna booster that should increase the Bluetooth range from 75 meters to 150 meter, which is about, hold on. Hey Siri, convert 150 meters to feet. 150 meters is 492.13 feet. Convert 75 meters to feet. The answer is 246.06 feet. Uh, can you tell me a, a joke real quick? Why did the man quit his job at the donut factory? He was fed up with the whole business. There you have it. The Verity broadcast in Bluetooth and NT+. Now, what's new about that is it has dual Bluetooth channels to allow you to pair to multiple devices. You can always broadcast to unlimited devices or pair it to unlimited devices if using ANT+. But unlike ANT+, Bluetooth requires a dedicated channel for each connection. So you can connect to two devices at the same time. So for example, you can connect to Zwift on your PC and Trainer Road on your phone using Bluetooth just like that. And with the signal booster that I talked about earlier, you now have 150 meters range, which might not matter for most, but good to know that you have a pretty decent range if you are in a wide open space or a field or something like that. The next thing is the battery. Polar increased the battery life of the Verity to 20 hours. This is huge because if there is one thing I did not like about the OH1, the battery life. It only lasted 12 hours. This means that you have to charge it once or twice a week, depending on how often you work out. And I've had sessions where I ran out of battery mid through the workout, which sucks because I suck at charging these devices. So 20 hours is great to see and in line with other wrist uh, heart rate uh, or optical heart rate sensors, not the best out there, but it's good to see that. Just like the OH1, the Verity is rechargeable and comes with the USB attachments. It's the same uh, USB attachment used for the OH1. So you can use the same attachments to charge basically both sensors. There are three ways you can use the Verity Sense. You can use it as a standalone heart rate monitor and just pair it to any device and it will broadcast your heart rate. If you do not have a compatible device or just want to go and do an activity without carrying a phone or wearing a watch, then you can use it to record or on record mode uh, on the Verity Sense and it will record your activity without having to worry about carrying a device. Uh, Polar increases storage on the Verity Sense to 60 megabyte. That should give you about 600 hours of heart rate data. It also has a swim mode. You can attach it to your goggle using the redesigned clip included and, it's a water, and it has a water compatibility with different goggles and it will record your heart rate, pool turns, distance, and your pace. And before you go swimming with it, you need to select the pool length 
uh, or specify the pool length and you can do that in the polar flow app and specify your pool length uh, you also have the option to specify your own pool length if you swim in a non-standard pool actually the portal flow when you first pair it to the polar flow app it will the first thing it will ask is a pool length for you and to select or switch between mode you will notice on the back of the variety three different icons heart rate icon an arrow down looking icon for standalone recording and a swim icon when you turn it on by pressing and holding the side button for a second or so it will start flashing for a couple of seconds and then it will stop now you only have a few seconds to select the mode you want before it locks you uh, to that mode you can't switch mode after that without turning it all the way off and turning it back on which kind of sucks uh, to select the mode you want you simply press the side button to move the light around you'll also see the side light changing color indicating which mode you are on uh, blue indicate heart rate broadcasting green indicates heart rate recording and white indicates uh, or white light indicates swimming and once you finish your selection just leave it there and a few seconds later you should see all six green lights turn on if you want to double check which mode you're on or just happen to forget quickly like I do all the time you can simply press the side button and you should see the light flash with the mode color you are on when you are done with your activity simply turn it off and it will save your activity now all you need to do is sync it to the polar app to see your heart rate details for your activity and to do that simply power it back on and it should start syncing it might take 30 seconds or so to start syncing uh, once it's synced you should see your activity labeled as other uh, you can simply change that type or that your activity type by tapping on the activity icon and you should see a full list of available activities you can select from. From an accuracy standpoint, the Polar OH-1 has been solid for me and in line with the Polar H-10 heart rate strap. Both have been my go-to for working out. I only had this for a very short amount of time and I'm talking about a couple of days here, so I had limited amount of time to collect data, but the sensor is the same as the OH-1 plus and the Verity has been just as good with the amount of time I had it and the workouts that I did. I think Polar knows how to do heart rate and they do it better than anyone else in my opinion. Finally, let's talk about price. Polar increased the price of the Verity to 90 US dollars. That's a $10 increase in price. That's not cheap for a heart rate monitor and definitely up there in price, especially when you can spend a lot less getting other heart rate straps and uh, most watches now include an optical heart rate sensor. Not as good, but they do have it. So this might not be for the casual fitness enthusiast, but for the hardcore and the serious athletes out there who wants to dial in their fitness, this would be my go-to. For me, accuracy, dual Bluetooth connection, and the longer battery life are great to have. Okay, that's all I have for you today. You can pre-order this today from the Polar website and it will ship on February 17th, I think. Uh, as for other retailers such as Amazon, it's not available yet and I think you will be able to order it around the 20 or after the 20th of February. Uh, but I will update the links in the description, so check those out. Either way, let me know what you think or if you have any question. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.